Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In a recent update, Intel Guru Frank 26 highlighted the critical relationship between the hydrocarbon law, HCL, and the exchange rate in Iraq. According to him, while all the necessary components of the HCL are in place, its full implementation hinges on the establishment of a new exchange rate. This pivotal connection underscores the intricate interplay between Iraq's economic policies and its efforts to stabilize and grow its economy. The hydrocarbon law is a crucial piece of legislation in Iraq, governing the management and distribution of the country's vast oil wealth. It aims to provide a fair and equitable distribution of oil revenues among the different regions and communities within Iraq. This law is not just about economic management it is also a vital instrument for maintaining national unity and ensuring that all citizens benefit from the country's natural resources. However, despite the law being in place, its execution has been delayed. Frank 26 suggests that the delay is primarily due to the need for a new exchange rate. The exchange rate which determines the value of Iraq's currency in relation to other currencies, plays a fundamental role in the country's economic stability and growth. A stable and favorable exchange rate can attract foreign investment, boost trade, and enhance the overall economic environment. Conversely, an unstable or unfavorable exchange rate can lead to economic challenges, including inflation, reduced purchasing power, and a decline in investor confidence. For the HCL to be effective, it requires a supportive economic environment, which includes a stable and appropriate exchange rate. Frank 26 emphasizes that the new exchange rate is a prerequisite for the HCL's implementation. This assertion points to the broader economic strategy that the Iraqi government might be pursuing. By adjusting the exchange rate, the government aims to create a more conducive economic environment that can support the objectives of the HCL. This involves ensuring that the revenues generated from oil are optimally utilized and distributed, fostering economic growth, and improving the standard of living for Iraqi citizens. The delay in implementing the HCL, therefore, is not due to a lack of political will or bureaucratic hurdles but rather a strategic decision to wait for the right economic conditions. The new exchange rate is expected to provide the necessary stability and confidence needed for the effective distribution of oil revenues. This approach reflects a careful and considered strategy by the Iraqi government to ensure that when the HCL is finally implemented, it can achieve its intended outcomes without being undermined by economic instability. Moreover, the anticipation of a new exchange rate has significant implications for the Iraqi populace. Citizens are likely to view the new exchange rate as a signal of economic reform and progress. This can boost public confidence and support for the government's policies. Additionally, a favorable exchange rate can enhance the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar, leading to better economic conditions for the general populace. This, in turn, can foster social stability and reduce economic disparities. In conclusion, Intel Guru Frank 26's commentary sheds light on the crucial link between the HCL and the exchange rate in Iraq. The delay in the HCL's implementation is strategically tied to the need for a new exchange rate, which is essential for creating a stable and supportive economic environment. This strategy reflects the Iraqi government's commitment to ensuring that the HCL achieves its objectives of equitable revenue distribution and economic growth. The successful implementation of the HCL, supported by a favorable exchange rate, holds the promise of significant economic and social benefits for Iraq and its citizens.